is Diana Sullivan in Austin, Texas with another beginning machine knitting lesson. And this time I want to talk about one more essential short rowing technique. And this is for the situation where you need a horizontal dart. Now if you sew, you know that a dart is a place where the fabric is folded on one side. And that makes room for the bust line or other features of the body so that you have more fabric over here and you have this little tuck in the armhole seam. So imagine that this is the armhole side of the knitting and that this is the center front of the knitting right here and that this area needs to be bigger and that the short row needs to happen here. And for this example I'm just going to simplify it and have it, have it be two stitches every two rows. So I'm going to do a decrease over here and to do a decrease here I could either do one stitch in a row, one stitch every row, or I could do two stitches every two rows. But usually a dart is kind of a, a shallow shape so I'm going to use two and in your imagination you could understand that you might use three or four or whatever kind of shape that you need for that finished garment. I'm working with a bulky machine here and I'm trying to make the shapes very, very simple. So I'm going to bring the machine over to the, the carriage, over to the right hand side of the knitting and on a click with me changing it from normal to hold setting so that it will not knit held needles. So over on the right, I'm bringing out the first two needles to decrease on the left. This is going to be the deepest part of the tuck that is a dart. And I will go over to the left and I need to wrap. My choices are bring out another needle or wrap on the carriage side always. If I don't do that, I get holes. And then I'm going to go across, bring out two more needles, back, going to wrap, go across, two more needles, go back, wrap, two more needles, go back, and wrap. I think I'll do two more needles. want to make sure this is a visible shape. And go back, and I'm going to wrap. Now, sometimes when you do a dart, you just do the decreases and then you change the setting and you go all the way across and that makes kind of a small dart. But in this case, I want the dart to really show up for the camera. I could make a little deeper dart and it's not going to be just, just a half a triangle. I'm going to get, I, I took a little bit of fabric here as a short road. I'm going to get a little deeper thing going by, by, um, by doing the increases gradually. So on this side I can bring back two needles because the machine is going to knit, 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 knit those and it's not going to draw a string across the top of anything I want knitted. So from this side two needles into work. But on this side, as I said earlier, we are avoiding a hole. If I were to knit back right here it's going to make a hole. It always has to be under the needle on the carriage side. So back again. Two more needles. This time I wrap. Two more needles. This time I wrap. Two more needles. This time I wrap. And finally the last two needles. And look what a noticeable bulge this has created. Now I'm going to knit a few more rows and then take it off the machine and hold it up so that it's visible for the camera how this shape, how this shape worked. There are so many things that you can do with short rowing and I'm just showing the basics because I think it would be pretty boring to do all kinds of shapes with short rowing at this point. Um, but th what I've showed and I really strongly encourage you to practice is the sock toe where you short rowed one stitch each time, the shoulder which is such a common task in machine knitting, and then the bust start.
here is my sample viewed from the right side and you can see a pronounced curve in the knitting as it goes over the hill of our imaginary bust line and you can certainly see how very much longer the knitting is here than here. I made a very sharp dart. Now remember how I folded over the knitting on the toe to show the increase and the decrease? I'm going to do that here. When I fold it over, you can clearly see I knitted ordinary rows all the way across to here, then shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter. There was a point where I stopped shaping. This is how wide it was when I stopped shaping. And then as I increased, you can see it getting wider and going back out to the full width of the knitting. So that is the dart type of short row shaping.